So leg 12 next then of the Moors Millions. It's the long distance version. This one, this is four and a half miles. So it's the full distance of the final. One well, of the finals is two finals, of course, isn't it? So Debancherman for Alex Cherry's a top one. Firefox Leon Van Rensburg, lovely present John Morgan, Claude Monet, Paul Rhodes, Stay All Day, Craig Beckwith, Born to Perform, Stu Gray, Charlie Two. Thomas Rogers, River Tyne, Davy Lad, David Robertson, Sunday Mott for Thomas Rogers, Cartan Tantler for Hims, Not Now, Never, James Shea, Balance Junior, Kevin Meenahan, Verge, James Shea, Bolshoi, Bling, David Robertson, Rizwan, Calling, Graham Clutterbuck, Lady Sink, Marty Leadham, National Pastime, Joshua Sutherland, Simple Dutch, Paul O'Neill, Swift Breeze, Stu Gray, Slip Anchor, Paul O'Neill, Lighthall Fox, Graham Clutterbuck, Ingerbird, Darren Thompson, Zinc, Kevin Meenahan, Muldoon's Mirage, Marty Leadham, Yavari Feature, Darren Thompson, Nay Secret, Derek Hinton, Kono, Paul Paul Fisk, Tambara, Paul Rhodes and Southern Spectrum, Alex Cherry. So 29 then. And away they go. And can they away towards the first? I think there are a few mini sort of nationals next week. There's sort of lower grade nationals. Somerset National I think might be next week or something like that. There's a four miler at Cheltenham as well. A couple of four miles, a low grade one and a group one. So a few more races for these long distance horses to be aimed at next week but it's a big field for this today as they get to the first of the 31 and they all sail over it and nicely with Lady Sink the orange jacketed grey just the leader Slip Anchor in second who used to run in those colours on the flat won the derby and we lost one at the back Devancher Man's gone so there's a little piece of unimportant trivia that's coincidental as they jump over that next one and we lost another one there Southern Spectrum's gone so the top one and the bottom one are both out and Lady Sink is just about the leader from Stay All Day what a truck and another one's down so there's a lot of fallers so far in this no secrets gone this time so three fallers in the first four fences and Stay All Day will pass the winning post and swing out for another circuit. I've got another couple of two or three times to go around yet. Yeah, Lady Sink is in front. Stay All Day is in second. Slip Anchor is third, which is racing away from us. We feel a reasonably packed though. All tightly grouped. Lady Sink's got the run and has got the lead. Stay All Day on the wide outside is in second. The two tucked in between are Zinc and Slip Anchor. And the two tucked in behind a Cartan Tantalus and Yavari feature with the white sleeves. And a bit of a gap to Virgin Tambara. And Claude Molly and Reswan calling and the grey simple Dutch and Sunday Mott in the green as they take the fifth and they're all over that one safely this time we've already lost three then and not now never is the back marker at this stage front slip anchor looks to go from the front gets over that one just in the lead from Stay All Day and Lady Sink and Zinc but it's almost four in a line with Cartan Tantalus in the green tucked in behind and then Yavari feature as they take the seventh, which they all managed to get over okay. Stay all day. That's now a length up on the outside as they get over the next. And the jumping seems to have settled down after the early shenanigans and really mayhem as they take that ditch. There's so many runners tightly packed and one or two unsighted that went. But it's stay all day in the lead. Slip anchor in second. Lady Sink's got the rail in third. Then Cartan Tantalus has now moved through into fourth as Zinc drops back into fifth. Then Yavari Feature and Simple Dutch, the third great. Bit of a gap then back to Reswan calling with Verge and Tambara and Claude Monet. And born to performance after that one. A lovely present. Sunday Motten with a time. Firefox is wide on the track with Charlie 2 and then on the inside of that one National Paston Kono is towards the back of the pack as well with Lightall Fox and Inga Bird and Muldoon's Mirage as they take the 10th with Bolshoi Bling and Not Now Never at the back so they all got over that one okay and Slip Anchor and Lady Sink are disputing the lead at this ditch which is number 11 of the 31 they all get over that one Nicely, Lady Sink can have a little turn in the lead. And it's by about a neck to Slip Anchor, who looks keen to get back in front. Cartan Tantalus jumped it well in third. I've got over that one. Okay, as well. With Lady Sink, Slip Anchor, Cartan Tantalus, Stale Dan Zinc. 
as they take the 30. Oh, there's a fall and there's a crashing fall for Simple Dutch. He was nicely placed and the jockey was lucky not to get booted all around the track. So they come up then past the winning post with two more circuits to go and it's slip anchor in the lead Kartan Tantalus is second and Lady Senki's third Zinki's four and Yavari feature is five and then Stayorde six and Lovely Present seven and Tambara eight and then Claude Monet nine and Sunday Mop ten and then Virgin Charlie two and Born to the four and Rezwan calling and then Firefox Kono River Time Balance Juno uh, National Pastime Swift Breeze Line Tall Fox after that then Bolshoi Bling Bolt Dunes Mirage and finally Not Now Never at the back so four have gone 25 remain they make their way towards the next fence with slip anchor lady sink and cartan tantalus the front three this is the 14th and over that one they go i'll safely over that one as well yeah, towards the next end with cartan tantalus looking like he's ready for a turn in front over that ditch see them all over that one and they're all safely over that ditch and they make their way towards the next which is the middle obstacle 16th of the 31 and see them over that one and they're all safely over that one as well so 15 more to take then and over the first of them it's Kartan Tantlus who's just about got his head in front from Slip Anchor and Lady Sink with virtually three in a line then Yavari Feature and Zinc stay all day and lovely present and Sunday Mott as they take the next ditch and again they're all over it okay one or two sitting quietly at the back not made a move yet will probably start to make their move in the final circuit just stay in touch with the first three circuits and then go for it on the final one a cart untangle the slip anchor lady sink Yavari feature and zinc and stay all day for that matter Seem pretty keen to stay up in the van throughout and it's slip anchor in front and cart and tantalus on his outside the grey lady sink on his inside yavari feature back in fourth and another grey zinc a lovely present is there as well and claude monet creeping a bit closer lockdown never is still towards about line or fox hasn't got going at all today as they take the 19th one or two nods but they're all over it okay with slip anchor in front of this ditch. Oh, there's something going to fall there. Born to perform's gone. So, born to perform wasn't born to perform today. And a bit of disappointment there for Stu. He's only got two horses in his stable. They're both running in this. There's another fall there as well. Kono's gone this time. So, Kono's out. Stu's still got one in this. Which is Swift Breeze, I think, as they take the 22nd. And over that one they go. And the field is thinning out again as they come up past the winning post and they've got one more circuit again now we'll expect to see them start racing and slip anchor and cart and tantalus are one and two then yavari features now gone third lady sinks drop back into fourth then zinc and stay all day and tambara and then lovely president and rizwan corner and sunday mott and verge bolshoi blink charlie twos next then firefox and national pastime sitting quietly in mid division then swift breeze and ingerbird muldoon's mirage trying to get closer river tyne and balance juna then not now never in line tall fox are a couple of lengths adrift of the remainder but it's slip anchor in the lead a lot of jumping still to do but just a little more than a mile left to race slip anchor from cartan tantalus yavari feature stay all day lady sink just losing her place a little bit on the inside as they take the 23rd oh, there's another four and there's zinc gone a crashing fall for zinc so that's another one gone and slip anchor is the leader by a couple of lengths now at this ditch Good jump there by the horse in third. Stay all day. But it's slip anchor in front. Cartan Tantalus second. Stay all day is third. Then comes Tambara. Yavari featured. Wizwan Corden is now making a forward move around the outside as they get over the 25th. And they're all so clear with that one, including the back marker line to a fox. But it's slip anchors already at the next. And he's over it well in the lead. Slip anchors in the lead from Cartan Tantalus in second. Then a gap of a couple of lengths back to the remainder. We're headed by Rezwan calling now. Tambara stay all day. He's still there coming around the outside. His lovely present over that ditch. They go. Oh, he's gone. Rezwan calling just as he was making his move has crashed out of the race 
And now, as we said, the race is really beginning to hot up, but Slip Anchor and Cart and Tundler are still there to be shot at. Here comes Sunday Motten River Tyne is now coming right into it. National Pastimes come from nowhere, then lovely present Lady Senk is still on the premises, but it's still Slip Anchor in the lead, but now River Tyne is the main challenger as they begin to swing left-handed and make the race towards home, and it's got to be Slip Anchor who's going to lead them into it. From River Tyne in second, Sunday Mott is third, then National Pastime. Lady Senk sticking on, then lovely present Cart and Tundler look like it's beaten so does stay all day Tambara and Claude Monet after that one but Slip Anchor still going in front from River Tyne in second there's less than three furlongs to go this is the 28th fence and over it they go and it's Slip Anchor in front Slip Anchor from River Tyne here comes National Pastime and Sunday Mott this is the third last coming up then now it's Slip Anchor in front Slip Anchor comes to this ditch he skips over in the lead but a better jump by National Pastime on the outside Carts on Tantlers was a faller and National Pastime's taking up Claude Monet's gone as well it's National Pastime in the lead from River Tyne and Slip Anchor. This is the second last. Over it they go. National Pastime gets away from it. Well, he's suddenly on two or three clear of River Tyne in second. Sunday Mott is in fourth. They race down towards the final fence and over it they go. And National Pastime's got away from it. Well, he races into the final half final and he's going to take this one. He sat quietly for three circuits and bounced on the final one. National Pastime wins the leg of the Moors Millions. River Tyne is going to be second. Slip Anchor and Brave third. Then Verge Sunday Mott. Lovely present. Bolshaw Bling Lady Sink. Charlie 2. Firefox didn't get into it then Swift Breeze and Tambara the field will trail back to Light Hall Fox an action packed dramatic race and National Pastime has put himself in the national picture with a win a pretty impressive win as well from River Tyne who stuck on in second Slip Anchor a brave attempt to make all and Verge came from the back for fourth let's get a full list of the connections in it's another one for Joshua Sutherland as National Pastime takes leg 12 of the Moors Millions. National Pastime for Joshua Sutherland, the winner. River Tyne, David Robertson, second. Slip Anchor, Paul O'Neill, third. Verge for James Shea was fourth. And Sunday Mott for Thomas Rogers was fifth.